This is Jennifer with Cheeky Cat Paper, and in this video, um, I've actually been asked to show how I go from, you know, your standard book to um, creating something like this, making the cover, um, and you can see it's got some texture with um, some paint on there, so if you can see the detail on that. Um, so I'm going to show you how, what my process is in this video. So what you're going to need is a book, of course, that you can, don't mind tearing apart. And then you'll need um, a box cutter or um, an X-Acto knife to, to tear out the guts. Uh, you'll need some napkins and you need, um, I would go with something that's has... Um, texture is fine, but you want it to be the same texture all over the whole thing. You don't want part of it to be smooth and part of it to be bumpy. Um, and then just the, you know, very thin. These are just some very cheap napkins from a restaurant. Um, and, and no design. Although I suppose design wouldn't matter. You're going to paint over it anyway. But I think this is probably the easiest thing. Uh, you'll need some Mod Podge. Um, something to apply it with. Um, you'll also need, oh, I forgot to get, you'll need a um, spray bottle uh, with water. And then, of course, you'll need some acrylic paint. And I just use this Craft Mart stuff. I'm sorry, Craft Smart. <laughs> and I get this from Michael's. It's, you know, a dollar or something like that. Um, okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you need is your book. I just picked this up at, um, apologies to Stephanie Kuhn, but uh, I picked this up at my library. It was 25 cents. Um, and so we're gonna take the box cutters. You wanna be really careful here that you don't cut yourself, but you can see right in here, there's a little, little gap there between the paper and um, this part where it's glued on. So I'm just gonna stick it right in there and slice down very slowly and carefully. Just taking my time right in that crack. Okay. And I don't think I completely released it. So let's start from this side. And go over it one more time. Okay, I think that side's good. And then we do the same thing with the other side. I'm gonna find that gap. Slice it right there. it out there we go brute force wins every time okay <laughs> okay so there we are don't worry about this we're gonna reinforce that um, that will not become a problem okay so the next step is to take our napkins and our Mod Podge and I will show that to you as soon as I get my water bottle be right back Okay, so I'm back, and so what we're gonna do is take the napkin, and I have, um, this is just one ply, so it's very thin, 
And I wanted to overlap the edges of the book slightly by, you know, like half an inch or so. Um, so it's long on this end. So I'm just gonna, I don't have scissors right now. So I'm just gonna tear this off. <clears throat> okay. And then you just wanna, I have my little spray bottle here. I'm just gonna give it a little squirt. And that's basically just gonna keep it in place. Kind of adhere to that cover. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm gonna um, take my brush, dip it a little Mod Podge and just start to brush over that napkin. And you'll see that as we do this, we got some, um, you get some little wrinkles in there and that's actually what gives it that nice textured look. So definitely want the wrinkles. Don't try and smooth it all out. <clears throat> Okay, and then we need a little more water. If it starts to dry out, just put a little more water on it. Oh, and you can see it ripped a little there. That is not a big deal, because we'll just go right over the top of that. You can either just do another layer or just leave it as is, not a big deal. Okay, now the crease part here can be a little tricky. So what you wanna do is make sure it's all wet sticking down and then right here in this crease I'm going to push it down so it's all the way down and then do the spine okay so I apologize for the lighting. It's dark here now, so I'm trying to do this with the lights that I have. Okay, <clears throat> so that's looking good. And then we can do the next section. And I usually do this little middle part um, kind of on its own just because, um, to, because it is bending there so it needs a little extra strength and also um the text sometimes there is embossed um and you might need to go over it a couple of times so that you don't have that that lettering showing through so i'm just going to go ahead and put a whole another layer right here spray it down I'll go over the side one more time. And you can you can probably tell that I've you can see the the edges are sticking out over the sides. Um, and we're just gonna fold those under and glue them to the inside. Um, but we will get to that. Okay. So once again, I'm gonna press down in that little dip right there. Make sure it gets glued down there. And sometimes it's easier just to do it with your finger. Okay.
All right. Now that part's done, and we just need to finish this part here. Now see, you can see, I don't know, right here, there's a little hole where the napkin ripped. And if I want, I can just, you know, throw on another little piece. Cover that up. It's already kind of wet, so I don't have to give it too much. And there, fixed. All right. Okay, there's another little spot right here. I kind of ripped it. So let's go ahead and do a little fix there. And I kind of like the way of the, um, having those ragged edges. So sometimes I just like to tear it instead of instead of having it be those sharp cut edges. Okay, so this is dry now and we can do the other side. So we're gonna flip this over and it's the same process for the other side. Um, and this is a little bit long on this side, so I'm just going to cut it down. Oh, and for the corners, what I like to do is I like to snip off the corner. And then when you fold it over, you don't have it being super bulky right there. So I'll just fold this down. That's right. Okay. And then Mod Podge. Same thing over here. The corner you can just kind of push over. Okay, now you can, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of bulk right here. And um, you can either try and pull this tighter on this side, um, but usually I just kind of um, put a little extra Mod Podge there on the edge and push it down. It can be a little bit bulky, that's fine. Just adds to the, the texture. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side now. Oh, that's tearing right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that off. It's a bit long anyway. It doesn't matter. Now I'll put a little extra on the edge there. Again, feel free to get get your fingers in there. It's easier sometimes. Okay, and then this corner I actually forgot to cut. So I'm going to peel that open, cut that corner.
Okay, this corner right here, I broke off some of it, so I'm going to make a quick little repair. We'll start on this side. Okay, this, I don't like the way this looks. Because I really want it to be more pushed over than that. I think when I, when I dried it, it, uh, it got, it stuck to itself. So I might redo, I'm just going to redo all of that. Let's take that off for now. This one. So really, you know, it doesn't matter. It seems like you will quote unquote mess up, but this isn't, this isn't really something you can mess up because you can just do another layer, go right over the top. It, um, it's not going to, it's not gonna muck things up if you have to redo it or add a little bit more. Okay. So now I'm just gonna redo this edge. <laughs> Okay, we'll let this dry and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's completely dry. Okay, so here we have the book. It is all dry. And if you have um, a heat gun or you can take a blow dryer and, um, you know, just put it on there, it'll dry much faster than if you if you let it air dry, but completely up to you. So now uh, it's time to paint. So I've got my colors um, mixed up here. I kind of wanted to do a color in between these two. Um, I'm doing a, I want to do a winter themed book. So uh, this is Ocean Breeze and this is Turquoise. And I thought eh, something kind of in between there would be nice. So I've mix those two colors and so I'm just gonna start painting and usually um yep, got a little blob I uh, usually you need to do um two coats um to get good coverage on here so um I'm just gonna do this and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so here is the finished book um, after painting it. And as you can see, I decided to change the color a little bit. 
um, I felt like this was a more wintry shade of blue um, than the other one. Uh, it's a little too oceany, and so I this is a uh, since this is a winter themed journal, I wanted it to be more of a kind of a snow icy blue. So as you can see, I um, did the edges in here and then as I finish the inside of this book I will paste down the inside design uh, some paper in here and it will cover that up and a little bit of this will show so I also um, painted that and then of course you know the spine will go in here and cover that up so the next step is um, if you can see all these fun little ridges that we put in, the texture, um, we're gonna go ahead and paint those ridges so that they really pop and give our book some definition. So what I'm gonna do, since it's again, winter theme, I'm gonna do a silver. So this is just some acrylic paint, just kind of a metallic silver color and um, just going to put, this actually doesn't say it's metallic. Not sure this is what I'm really going for here. Uh, yeah, it does look a little metallic. So I have a brush here that is just, it's kind of flat, if you can see. That's the kind I like to use to do the little ridges. And I just, um, I use the edge and it's a little bit delicate um don't need a whole lot of paint on the brush if you know if it goes over the, like over the edge of the ridge it's really not a big deal you know the overall effect will be um what matters and that will be stunning so basically i'm just gonna Take it and touch, touch on those ridges. Again, it just takes a very little bit of paint. And get on the edge there. Get a little more paint. So you can see this, this bit is a little time consuming. But the effect will be worth it. Okay, so I'm going to do this off screen. I think you get the idea here. And then I will come back and show you the full effect. So here it is, painted. And as you can see, it is pretty subtle because the silver on the blue, the light blue, is it's pretty subtle. Um, I'll show you. Uh, I usually do something that that's a little more, uh, it pops a little more. This is sort of a coppery tone on this teal. Um, but I did want um, I did want this to be winter, so that's why I went with the silver. And and I I really like the effect. I hope you can I hope you can see that it is pretty subtle. But um, oh, and I also did um, I don't know if you can see on the edges here. I also did it on the inside as well because some of a little bit of this edge will show. So all that's left now is to um, put the pages in here, the papers covering this, and then I will put the spine in. And, but first, before I do all that, I'm going to decorate this cover. And um, you can de decorate the front and the back. I know um, a lot of people do that. I tend to just do the fronts, but um, you know, you do. You do you. Um, and so my idea 
for that was um, I created this layered effect. Um, just have some white cotton and some denim. And then I've got this image that is my focal image. And then I just kind of did some gold ribbon around the edges and I sewed it all in place. So there's that piece. And then I have a piece of tool. That's uh, kind of a periwinkle blue, I guess. And so my idea is, oh, and I've also got this little piece of denim. So I'm going to, my thought was to, I'm gonna put this up here and probably put another piece of fabric with the, um, the word winter stamped on there. And then um, I'm going to take this piece of tool and I'm going to sort of scrunch it up in the middle so that it gets some nice little folds in there. And I'll glue that down. And then this will go on top of that. So you can see this, um, the, the tool around here is just kind of, um, a little bit folded in on itself and, and not just straight and kind of boring. Um, oh, so I'll pull this down a little bit. Leave space. I want to leave space for that word right there. And then the last thing I'll do is I'll take a brad and actually poke a hole through the book um, and this fabric layer. And then I'm going to dangle these little bits just from the brad so it'll have this cute little dangling thing right there from this brad. So here it is. Everything is glued down. And this little piece here uh, so I basically used that embroidery floss and I threaded it through the hole that I punched in the book. And I'll show you the inside here. So you can see there's the brad and the embroidery floss and I just tied a knot on it. Um, and so I'm going to show you the next step, which is, and I forgot to do all this earlier, forgot about this step, but it works out good because I'm going to go ahead and cover that up because it will make things smoother. So um, the first step is I've just got some duct tape here and um, I, I think pretty much, you know, duct tape or packing tape will work. Um, just some nice, strong, thick um, tape. And so what I'm, tr what I'm doing here is I want to tape these edges down so you can see this one's kind of flopping up and that's um we don't want that and we also want to um to strengthen the spine so i'm going to kind of overlap these and because i want to go ahead and cover that up i'm just going to put that right over there i'm leaving some space at the top or th and the bottom because again a little bit of that's going to show so I'm just going to press that down into all the cracks and crevices, make it nice and smooth. Okay, you can see there's a little bump there. It's okay. We're just going to put our end page right on top of that and it'll be fine. Okay, and then I've got another one for the other side. I kind of overlap these. Oh, made this one a little bit short. That's okay. And push it down into the crack. Okay, there we go. And then the next step, I've cut a piece of just cotton fabric. Um, and a little bit, bit of this will peek through, um, but you can make it any color you want and I'm just going to glue it down in there and I probably should have made it a little bit longer than my duct tape so that it wouldn't show through so 
I may go ahead and cut another piece. And um, this is what I use to glue it in. This is um, a pH neutral PVA. It is for um, book binding and um, it is, you know, archival. So it's the nice thing about this glue is that um, when it dries, it stays flexible. So it's great for book binding. Um, you could use Fabrifix. Um, probably there are other glues that you could use. Um, that's, that's just what I like. Um, so I will glue this in and um, I'll be back. Here is the um, the piece that I did on the mid in the middle here um, with the tape, and then I glued down the fabric, and then I did go ahead and just paint over that again those edges. I realized I should have probably used um, transparent packing tape so that since I had already painted it, but uh, we make mistakes and then we fix them, right? That's what we do. Okay, so. This is now ready for my inside papers, which I have picked, um, going subtle here. And I'm just gonna glue these right in here. Um, again, using this uh, pH neutral PVA. And um, this actually is uh, like light cardstock paper, but you can also use just regular copy paper if you print out uh, a design sheet that that you like. Um, I've had um, uh, I've had good good luck with um, with just using uh, copy weight paper. It works out just fine. Um, I wouldn't go too thick because um, it just tends to I don't know it gets gets bulky and then um, because it you know the, this book still does already have the paper cover on there so. I think if you use heavy cardstock, it just gets too thick. So I am going to, oh, I forgot to show you this last time. I have this little um, book binding brush. You, you know, you don't need to buy one of these. I think they're like $7 on Amazon, but um, you could just use a sponge or a regular paintbrush. <laughs> ready and I cut it to size so that I've got um, just a tiny bit of space all around the edges and once you're satisfied with your placement go ahead and push it down I can see this little corner here is peeling up a little bit, so I'm just going to put a little extra, extra glue there. There we go. Okay, and then we do the same thing for this side, and it'll be ready to go. And there we are. It is all glued in and so you can see the um, the spine will just be laid down right in there and um, there is a little bump here from that um, from that brad but it's all covered up so you're not gonna see any any of that back so there you go that is how I take an old book and repurpose it into a junk journal and how I decorate it um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you are interested in um, how to complete this journal, uh, putting in the spine and sewing it in and all of that, I would recommend um, looking at the um, Pam at the Paper Outposts um, tutorial on that. She's got an excellent tutorial. That's how I learned how to do it. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and like it. Um, 
leave a comment if you found it helpful. And uh, if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter, you'll get some free ephemera. Uh, I send it out about once a month. And it also includes um, some special discounts for my Etsy site. And uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.